Welcome back, everybody. It's time for news talk. And today, Sarah is here. She's a county extension agent, and Brooke is here from the city. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to talk to us about food insecurity here in Sedgwick County. Yes. It's a very legitimate issue with children and their families as well. And you guys are trying to find ways to make it better for us. Yeah, so more than one in seven Sedgwick County residents is considered food insecure, which means they don't have enough food or they may not know where their next meal is coming from. And it's definitely on the rise with kids being out for summer break, um, you know, their home needing to eat, yeah. that type of thing. And so there are resources available. It's just people don't know necessarily where to go. Um, so the Sedgwick County Health Department, they have a community health improvement plan. It's called the CHIP. Okay. And so a part of that is the Food Access Working Group. And they kind of join forces with the Health and Wellness Coalition and they created um, a resource available online. So people can go and they can see a map of all of the food banks in the community. Um, they can find out where you get SNAP benefits, where you can sign up for WIC. Um, also, how to learn more about Double Up Food Bucks, where these summer meal programs are, um, and then information from uh, local growers and then community gardens as well. That's incredible. And Brooke, if people want to get more involved with this or want to be a part of this, how do they do that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, lots of organizations and coalitions are working on systems changes to decrease food insecurity in our community. And Sedgwick County residents can get involved by uh, coming to a Food and Farm Council Advisory Board meeting. Uh, they welcome community input on the master food plan and meet on the first Tuesday each month. Uh, the CHIP Food Access Work Group welcomes community members and meets on the first, or excuse me, third Monday of each month. And the Health and Wellness Coalition, which promotes physical activity and healthy eating, meets on the fourth Tuesday of each month. And it is really important for people to get involved and for mm -hmm. people in our community to give input and to come out to some of these meetings and some of these other ways to learn about things and then they can actually help other people as well. Absolutely. So if people want more information about any of the things that we've discussed here today, what's the best place for them to go and to get that information? So if you go to the Health and Wellness Health and Wellness Coalition's website, um, there is a link for food resources and all of that information is going to be there for you. Okay, well thank you ladies, we really appreciate thank all you. the great information today.